public meeting was held in Golin recently to try and save the post office from closure. In the last two years, I suppose, we've lost two or more post offices. We've lost the uh, Crookhaven post office in this parish. So, like, obviously, we're fighting, fighting to see can we uh, retain this post office. Uh, Tom O'Kellen, who's travelled with me, after Colin Tom O'Connor, as others have. <laughs> but Tom O'Kellen, who's um, the head of the uh, Postmasters Union, uh, as such, and he's not here on behalf of On Post. I did welcome, I did, sorry, offer an invitation to Anpost to attend uh, and they said, well, they're willing to continue to help us, they're doing that with the outside, not here. Are we going to continue to allow the destruction <coughs> of what I believe the only contact we have in every village and town? I just think it's wrong. So I think a real sea change here needs to happen. And I'm hoping, and again I keep reiterating, I will drive when someone asks me to drive wherever it be, <coughs> to get the message across, this should not be happening. A stroke of a biro, the post office could be a viable business in a matter of months. But what it requires is a government with a nick to say, right, let's put people first. And that's really where I'm coming across. So I hope I, I, I did my best to get that message across. I'm not asking for favours from government. I'm just simply saying protect the existing network that we have that's older than the state. But I think Michael has, has served us and Chris very well over the years. But at the moment, <clears throat> it's effectively been taken out. And I think that needs to stop.